Hey guys, I'm going to be uh, deck profiling my Chaos Dragons September format 2012 and I've won a lot of tournaments with this deck so it's a really underrated deck and it's really amazing still and some of the key aspects is just knowing how to play the deck and learning to make options and having a lot of utility in the decks. It's more of a control deck sometimes, it's not really OCK but here I'll show you my build. So first up, one honest because honest, <laughs> with BLS he's just an OTK, he's a win condition, and he provides the defense you need for this format. A lot of people, they don't, you know, they don't really care, they just leave a monster on the field. There's not really that utility to remove that monster, they always attack it. Two card troopers, because you need to fill up your grave and draw as much as you can with this deck. You need to draw into your chaos monsters, or else you'll, you'll lose if you draw too much of these and like tour guides and stuff. Play one Gen X because it allows you for you to recycle tour guide. It allows you to synchro into back rows really easy. And it's just a really good card to recycle your BLS and your Chaos Sorcerer. It's, just, it's a really good card. I play three Eclipse, which might be really bad to some people, but the utility that this provides when comboed with Dark Flare and other cards is just amazing. And it lets you remove from play the graveyard. It lets you search out for my dragon targets, and it's still a light dragon, so you can exceed with it pretty easy. He might be dead, but you could always pitch him for light pulsar and just summon a chaos monster and get your consistency. This is the consistency of the deck, and you never want to mess up the consistency of the deck. I run three dark flare because if you're running three eclipse, you have to run three dark flare because. Eclipse and Dark Flare go hand in hand, and with this deck you need to be able to drop as many beaters as you can. And he also promotes exceeding rank 5, so that's another good thing. And then I have the 3 Light Pulsars. Pretty self-explanatory, he's a really nice beater of the deck, and he can still bring out your Dark Flare Dragon. And this is purely Chaos Dragons, it's just not Light Sworn, so... Yeah, this is just another good card of the deck. He's level 6 too, makes Strike Bouncer. Play one of these guys. His effect is pretty broken. You remove play two lights. And that's that's basically all he does. <laughs> he decreases all opponents' monsters by 300 on their battle phase. But the good thing is, if you have two Eclipse Ryburn in your graveyard, you can just banish them. Straight up, get Dark Arm to your hand or Darkness Metal. And you control your graveyard with Dark some more. So if you have three darks and two eclipse dragons, you summon him, drop dark armed, and he's a level six to two thousand beater. With Thunder King, they'll have to negate him, and he's level six, so you just promote your exceeds, and it's a really good tech card. This has been working out really good. One me a tournament, two max D because this is the this is the you need this for this format. I don't play any veilers because this card is. It, it covers the slack Baylor puts on, and I really don't like Baylor. I have my tour guide engine. I run the two tour guides, Sangin and Night Assailant. Uh, at first, I didn't run Night Assailant because I just didn't like him. But after his learning about his effect, about sending to the graveyard, I think he's a really good choice. Because he, he could just pitch for Light Pulsar and just get another card back. And you, you know, what, one card for Light Pulsar? That's fine with me. And two reds also good because you can just go into Giga Brilliant and you know drop your honest if you if you don't have any lights in your hand or anything. Then I have my Lightsworn engine, my three Lilas and three Rikos and an Aaron. Aaron makes sure that Solar Recharge isn't dead. Aaron is also a good card to get over Spare Reaper. Zen mains and a lot of prom cards. Granted, the monster still does flip up. It's it helps keep the monster out of the graveyard, and it's just really, really good. This format, I think, especially with snowman eaters and stuff running around, you really don't want that stuff. Three Lilas because this deck optimizes back row destruction. You can always levier him back, destroy another back row. Three Raiko because you know Raiko is just a good card to have. It still makes cards miss timing, especially with heroes. So popular. Oh, for my boss monsters, I have BLS, Chaos Rusher, Dark Arm, 
darkest metal scores and one chad. I really don't like running two chad because it makes the deck slower in a sense where you can't just drop a billion cards out of your hand and just OTK them. So one's enough for me because you can always max Z into him, you can always draw him. And he just he's just good to level copy, make any rank monster you can, basically. And I just don't, I really don't like to. And you know, these are really self-explanatory. You have to run them. And for my Eclipse Raven target, I went one Lad. Lad's really easy to drop in this deck. You can just summon Darkness Metal, remove and play, blah, blah, blah. Summon Light Pulsar, tribute summon for this guy. And then when he dies, Darkness Metal comes back. And four negates in a slow format, this card wrecks. This card is a win condition against Chain Burn. It's a win condition against a lot of decks, so this card is really underplayed and it's really good. And this is my replacement for this the second Darkest Metal that it was last format, so this is really still the consistency of the deck. That's why I could run three Eclipse Driver in because I have this target. My spells are on one Allure, Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Charge, and then three Solar Recharge, and this is pretty much it. I don't want Dark Hole because I really don't think the deck needs it. Field Presence is a huge thing in this deck, so clearing the field is no big deal for me, and I just I don't think it needs it. So I side it instead. So for my side deck, I have a ton of cards. Fifteen cards actually. <laughs> Spirit Reaver because you know if I'm going against some crazy deck where they make Shockmaster first turn. Well, Spirit Reaper is a continuous effect, so I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, three MSC because game two you always want to put this in. They're always gonna side D Fissures. Well, not D Fissures so much now, but it's still really good just to put it in. You don't know what kind of sides they might have. They might just put in goes in match or something, and you're like, what the hell? Uh, three DD Crow. Uh, I was thinking about cutting it down to two, but with Dark Worlds, this card is really good. It just, if you play it at the right time, it's really good. With Heroes, it's really good. It messes up Miracle Fusion. Pot of Avarice, this kills Pot of Avarice, which is amazing. Uh, one Quaki Mirror Drago for a mirror match. I don't like Electric Virus, because I just don't like it. I'd rather just summon this first turn, reveal my dragon and just be fine <laughs> and they can't just do anything except set the Raikou and they can't drop gores or anything so if I want a good push for a game I just summon him with my darkest metal and push for a game and they can't drop gores or a battle fader three veilers because uh, like gadgets and stuff like that I'm thinking about cutting these because I really don't think this card is that strong in this format anymore and it's not putting in that much work as it used to. I don't really side it that much. But it's still a really good card in general. Two Decree. This card wins games because of your hero matchups. And they always side out their MSTs for some reason game two. So they're not going to kill this. So when you get this off, you basically win. And then I have my Dark Hole. Because, you know, it's better than Smashing Ground. So I'd rather Dark Hole than Smashing Ground. And for the extra deck, I have... For my synchros, I have Black Rose, Cataster, Locomotive, Gen X, Gen X, Triarm, Black Green Dragon, and Red Dragon Archfiend. The deck has a lot of space, so I can really stick in as many cards as I want and just really be safe. And the good thing about this deck, it has a lot of utility. So, summoning this with Gen X is really easy. This is just one of those cards that you just have to have in your extra deck. It's just really helpful to have it. Uh, this card is really funny. I just have it in for the laugh of it, if I can get him out. Basically, just summon my Gen X ally Birdman, and then my drop, drop my Chaos Switcher. Banish two cards in their side of the field, and then Synchro and take control of their BLS or something, which is just amazing. Then I have Gen X Triarm. I can make this card pretty easy with Gen X ally Birdman. And his effect is basically just summon a Raikou from your graveyard and set him, which is, you know, why wouldn't you want that? <laughs> you just free plus and set your Raikou. 
which is really good. You, you know, not a lot of people play this, but it's a really good card. Really good tech card. Uh, this is auto win against Chainburn. <laughs> and Chainburn is a problem sometimes, so once you get him out, then you don't have to worry. You just win. You're never going to lose with this card. It's a one card win condition, so why not run it? And Wind Dragon Archfiend, I'd rather have Scrap Dragon or something, but I just like this card a lot. It's ulti and just really nice card. So I have Bias. For my Exceeds, I have the Tour Guide Engine. I don't like to run Tem Tempo because, you know, I could, with this deck, it has no problem Chibi summoning this Acid Golem. It's just getting rid of him, summoning your lad or something. So, yeah, everything's pretty much self explanatory with Geeky Brilliant Honest. Making Zen mains when you have like an OTK or something. And Leviar, your Lila back. Then I have this, which is really good for promoting Exceeds like Bouncer or Exabeetle. And then I have one Tyrus, which is just in my rank 5. I don't want Adrius because I just. I never see a use for him. And this is just get over all monsters. I don't have Thunder Charge in here because, personally, whenever I get this out, I already have a field established. And Bouncer just to lock down Heretics and other types of decks. So that's my Chaos Dragon deck. And I have one, one of these. I'm actually teching this right now. Um, anything in game one gets MSC'd automatically, so why not put this in <laughs> and Rafe? So... I'll, I'm going to test this out and I'll update to see how this does. So, uh, be posted for future videos and comment, rate, subscribe. We'll be posting more deck lists and discussion videos later this week. Thanks.